A suspect being questioned, her car confiscated. We have late breaking developments following a fatal hit and run accident that killed a highway worker in Fresno early this morning. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Scott. Thank you for joining us. We do have breaking news. We've been covering the story since it happened at 2 a.m. A young woman from Reedley working on a Caltrans construction project near Clinton and Highway 99 was struck and killed by a speeding hit and run driver. Now we're just learning that a possible suspect is in custody. Her damaged car has been towed to CHP headquarters in Fresno. That's where we join CBS 47's Tony Body with the very latest on this developing story. Tony? Yeah, Mike, and this is just a huge break in what is a very time sensitive case. We've learned that just within the last hour, CHP officers have detained a man and a woman, and they are currently questioning them right now. Now, officers, as you mentioned, they've also impounded a Nissan car that lines up with a description of that fatality that we had earlier this morning. Now, we did get some video of that car. We'll show that to you. It was an observant citizen who noticed the car missing its passenger side mirror while parked at an apartment complex off of Ashland Avenue in Fresno. Now, they reported it to police, and as of right now, it looks like it it is the vehicle that was involved in the deadly hit and run crash overnight. Now, investigators believe that the woman that they have in custody was the driver at that time. It was around 2 a.m. that she was on northbound 99 in Fresno near Clinton when she weaved her way behind some cones that had closed off the number one and number two lanes. That's where Caltrans was doing some repaving. Now, the driver hit and killed a 24 year old woman by the name of Reagan Johnson from Reedley. Now, she's She's not with Caltrans. She's subcontracted. She's a worker who's with a company called Windsor Fuel. Now, back out here live, you probably saw in some of that video the car being covered up with a car cover or a tarp. CHP tells me that the suspects in this case may have actually been the ones who were trying to hide evidence because when they got to the apartment complex, the car was all covered up. So kudos to that person who was very observant and called that in in a very small time window to notify authorities that, hey, your suspect might be over here. Reporting live in Fresno, Tony Body, CBS 47, on your side.